Hey guys, Lost Story 45 here. It's a brand new morning for a brand new day. So let's get started on some commentary. Um, in this commentary, I actually kind of wanted to go over something near and dear to me, and that's actually Call of Duty and how I think the franchise is going and stuff. <coughs> yeah, it's part of me again, guys. I'm sick, like I always am, it seems. But I will be getting better soon, hopefully. But, um,. In this game, I kind of just wanted to mess around a bit, get some bad skills and stuff, and I uh, did pretty good at one point, so I up figured I'd upload it. But, um, I want to talk about what I really, really, really want to see in Marvel for 3, and what we know we're going to see, and how we know we're going to see it. First off first, what I really want to see is them making the kill streaks, how they were in Marvel for 2. I want it to be so... The killstreaks are good enough, you can easily shift from killstreak to killstreak, and you won't have to worry about the necessity of getting other kills. If you think about it, killstreaks are meant to boost your killstreak, and they're a reward for your killstreak so that you can have more kills. In Black Ops, until you get the chopper gunner or something like that, the killstreaks are really useless. Anybody can dodge in a palm, anybody can dodge an R60 with a flak jacket, anybody can dodge anything but uh, the rolling thunder and that's one level below the uh, chopper gunner so I am rather disappointed with that whole aspect in black ops I wish they had kept it but they didn't so sadly we're gonna be put down with that hopefully my for three like I said they do get that going because I really want to see that again I really miss going straight for my uh, Harrier to my chopper gunner to my nuke. That's a great setup right there, and I love it so much. Too bad I can't do it anymore in Black Ops. Um, I kind of want them to have overpowered kill streaks again. I know it's kind of like what lost. I don't want to die seven times a game just because somebody put a predator missile up. I know those got really old. The kill streaks getting rapidly owning you guys, but each kill streak did have its counter if you were smart enough. And you could take them all down with air support. Right here, in a second here, something funny is going to happen. But, uh, no, no, never mind. Maybe it'll be later. I just got so sick of not having my kill streaks be kill streaks and instead just being little toys to play with. And I just really wish that would happen. Um, right here is where I accidentally drop my controller and I go into third person mode. I tried it. Turn it on and it doesn't work for like 5 seconds. Sorry, I'm not going to edit this out though because I think it's hilarious that in third person mode, I look even awesomer. And I really just suck. Come on, it's connected. And I'm like, why isn't it going? Lost, why isn't it going? Lost, lost. And then, press A button. Maybe I haven't figured this out yet. Figure it out in a second here. Okay, come on. I'm not very much of a genius when it comes to recording. So when things like this happen... It's like, what, what button do I press now? And then right here I realize, oh, it's in third person mode, and I doubt you want to see that. So I click the press Y, and I realize, oh, you're still in free room mode, so gotta get rid of that too. Here's where I try to spray a few ghost people, but anyway, so, um, in my warfare, I want an awesome campaign mode too. And I definitely want the, uh, soap in it. Soap in the Captain Price. If they're not in it, I am going to go insane. That's basically all I can equate it to. Um, I do hope that things do become more uh, docile gun wires. And I'm saying that because if you look at the spaz, kind shotguns aren't overpowered in this game at all. And that really sucks. Because when I think of shotguns, I think of Modern Warfare 2 shotguns where you could have your main gun and then you could have double wield spazzes. That's just awesome in my opinion. The spaz, totally love the spaz. Um, another kind of thing that I was uh, kind of really hoping for, gun-wise, is I don't want to see guns in a multiplayer that we never use. I want so I actually have, have to actually go. Oh, which gun do I want to pick? And instead of just going, yeah, I'll take that one. Because when I go to Black Ops and I choose a class, there are three guns I know I do good with. And I know that that's the only guns I'd like in the game. And they're pretty much guns that everybody uses. FAMAS, the uh, AK-47U, MPL, 
those are some of my best guns, and I would use them. It's just a matter of Treyarch didn't do well on making enough guns that were equal in class. So, hopefully we'll see a change in that. Um, other than that, there is very few, very, very, very few other things to talk about. But, campaign mode, I definitely wanted longer, like I said. Because, you know, you definitely want to be able to finish Modern Warfare 3 off at 3. The series had been really overdrawn. Modern Warfare 2 should have been the ending in a lot of They didn't, I'm not saying that where it left off in the story should have been the ending. I'm saying the game itself should have been the ending. Because, after Modern Warfare 1, that truly was their peak. And then they just crashed it down by going to Modern Warfare 2. They could have easily made a different game. Same stuff, but different game. With a different campaign mode. And it would have been the same. I don't know. I'm one of those old time Modern Warfare 2 fans. And Modern Warfare 1 fan. I'm not really much of a changer at that. But yeah. Um. I want to see assault rifles to their true power. Because Treyarch has nerfed almost all of them. But the AUG. The Commando. And one other one. The AK-47. Those are really the only assault rifles that stand out anymore. And I don't like that. I like being able to go to the assault rifle class and knowing that no matter what I do, the gun's gonna work. I don't like dealing with FAMAS and having to be PO'd because they have the AUG still non nerfed and the FAMAS is nerfed like hell. It just makes it so enjoyable to go around a corner and have to kill someone with a gun that doesn't work. So, other than that, I think I'm just gonna leave you guys to some pretty good gameplay. Here I do a little bit of camping. I know, I know. Who lost a camper? I know. I'm a camper. I'm an act gamer camper. But, uh, I'm thinking of doing my second episode of The Cryptid today. Gotta go get a few games and I'll record one of them. And so that is my Cryptid game. Um, I don't know what Cryptid I want to do. There's so many awesome Cryptids, guys. I know it's kind of weird thinking about, ooh, it's a Cryptid, but... There are so many awesome ones that I just can't choose myself. So, I will definitely... I mean, I'm trying to do a top 10 series of 10 most scary ones, but... Until it doesn't acquaint to them all. I wish I had had more of an ability to, uh... Know more about the cryptids before I did this. Because going through this now and learning about them, it's kind of like, What? I didn't know this thing existed. It's awesome. And then, basically, yeah, so other than that, let me continue over quickly to, uh, the, uh, Becoming the Hunter series. That, oh, I haven't recorded any footage for that lately. Oh, my gosh. And you're so uncut up on files on that. I'm gonna quickly go, probably record 12 games of one map, compile a few of them together, probably make, like, two minutes per clip, per video. Other than that, I think I'm just going to leave you guys off pretty much. And, um. Uh, I, uh. Was actually invited to go to a prestige lobby. And I was like, what? No, I'm not going to cheat. Why would I. Here's my chopper gunner, by the way, guys. Chopper gunner! But, uh. I didn't really want to cheat. I mean, it's unfair for me to cheat when everyone else does it the legit way. I don't think that's fair. I'm not going to go get gold camo off that, no. I'm trying to stay as legit as possible for you guys. Um, so definitely know that no matter what happens, don't invite me to any hack lobbies because I will never join them. But there, for some odd reason, I get 1,600 points for one kill. Ooh, flashing black. Maybe I just blinked. I don't know. Other than that, guys, have a nice day, and I will see you on the far side. Remember to like, dislike, comment, and subscribe. And uh, adios.